Someone said, these people should have the same safety rights as a squirrel darting across the road. And honestly, that's how I feel. There's this phenomenon of eco-terrorists going around countries, ruining art, stopping traffic, and basically just being a bunch of morons and ruining life for everybody else because they've been duped into thinking that the world is going to end and it's going to fire up in a ball of heat and explode because too many people are driving cars. This is Just Stop Oil. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they've been going viral for probably years now, but especially the last couple months because of their stunts. You guys can see a couple of them. There's, you know, here they're stopping traffic in the middle of the road. I saw one go viral the other day of a mother trying to get to the hospital with her kid. And these morons were stopping traffic, wouldn't even let them get by. And I'm starting to feel like, you know when you get a little kernel, a little popcorn kernel in the back of your mouth, it's kind of annoying at first. And then at the end of the, at the end of it, you just get so frustrated. You have your whole fist in your mouth. You're trying to rip it out. That's what they're doing, okay? They're like the little popcorn kernel in all of our mouths that is getting so annoying and something's gotta be done. We, we, have to, uh, we, we have to end this because quite frankly, they are public nuisances, they are domestic terrorists and we gotta do something about it. Um, I was watching this video, somebody said, you know, when they're blocking traffic, <laughs> someone said, these people should have the same safety rights as a squirrel darting across the road. And honestly, that's how I feel. I mean, when when people are blocking traffic, preventing you from getting to work, preventing you from going to the hospital, living your life, um, what rights do they have? This is ridiculous. But have no fear. There is finally some good news. Some undercover journalists went into one of their banquet halls, one of their fundraising events, and gave them a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. Let's watch. With the mole in place, we sent in the team. Good luck, boys. Bravo. Bravo. So they went undercover. They disrupted the banquet by attaching alarms to balloons and then flying to the flying them to the top of the banquet hall. And this is great. You got to love to see it. Um, they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Will they stop because of this? Probably not, but hopefully it will give them a second to reconsider and think about what they're doing to everybody else. These are people that are destroying hundreds of thousands of dollars of works of art. They are preventing thousands of people from you know, getting on with their lives. They prevent people from, you know, having these baseball games or cricket games recently in Britain. And it's generally a nuisance. If I were the prime minister, if I were the president, these people would be thrown in jail and treated as the domestic terrorists that they are. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ultimately though, their goal is to get people to be talking about them. And that's what I'm doing here. So is their goal being accomplished? Well, still not really, because what people are talking about isn't their activism. It's not about the oil and carbon emissions. It's how big of a nuisance they are. It's them being complete morons. And if you want to have an intellectual discussion, if you want to have an honest dialogue about carbon emission, about, you know, CO2 being released, about the, the effect oil has and drilling has on the earth, that's fine. I would even have that. And I think a lot of like-minded people would have those dis discussions. But the way that they're trying to garner publicity for their cause is completely the wrong way. Nobody's going to take them seriously. Nobody is going to have those important discussions if they keep doing this sort of thing. So if anybody out there that sympathizes with Just Stop Oil is listening, take your cause and articulate it intelligently Stop doing this eco-terrorism and maybe people will start to take you seriously and to start to have the real discussions that you want to have. Until then, I'm going to be on the journalist side and I'm going to be out there disrupting your guys' stuff just as much. Good luck.